Okay, so let us consider a sequential game. A sequential game is between two or more players and before one player moves, the player can observe the action of the other player or players. In this case, we have two firms. We have a new firm that is about to enter the market, may or may not enter the market, and we have an existing firm. Now, in this case, we have a time component and time moves from top to bottom. Now, suppose that you are the existing firm in the market and you know that there is a new firm to enter. What you may say is that in order, to, in order to deter the new firm from entering the market, you may threat a price war after entry of the new firm. Now, game theory allows you to see whether that is a credible threat or not. In order to, save, to solve this game, we are going to do something called backward induction. Backward induction is the method to solve a sequential game, in the sense that we are going backwards in time, meaning we start at the last node, see what a particular player would do in that situation, and then move up in time. So in this case, consider the situation where the new firm entered the market, and we are now at the last node here, where it is the existing firm needing to make a decision. Now note that the existing firm, the payoff, is 5 when it prices low or 10 when it prices high. So note that the payoffs are the existing firm at the top and the new firm at the bottom. So if the new firm entered the, entered the market, and the existing firm has to decide whether to price low or high, then what you see is that it is actually in the best interest of the existing firm to price high. Okay, So it's going to do the high pricing. Now, the new firm knows that if it enters the market, then the existing firm is going to price high, meaning that the new firm is going to have a payoff of 10 comparing the payoff of 0 if the firm does not enter and the payoff of 10 if the firm enters, then we can clearly say that it is in the best interest of the new firm to actually enter the market. So the Nash equilibrium in this case is the new firm enters the market and the existing firm prices high. So the Nash equilibrium describes a particular path. So what we have seen in the case where the new firm has to decide whether to enter the market or not, and the existing firm threatening a price war if the new firm enters the market, we have seen that the threat of a price war is not credible, okay? or it's a, it is a non-credible threat. Now, let us consider a slightly different situation where we have the same game as before, but in this case, prior to the new firm deciding whether to enter or not enter the market, we have the existing firm that can decide whether to price low or price high. Now, we have seen that to solve this game, we have to, go, we have to do what is called a backward induction. And again, note that the number on top is the payoff for the existing firm, and the number at the bottom is the payoff for the new firm. Now, let us start again with the existing firm, where the existing firm priced high, and the new firm entered the market. Now, in this case, we have seen that the existing firm is going to price high, meaning that the payoff from entry of the new firm is going to be 10. Then the firm has to decide, the new firm has to decide whether to enter the, whether to enter the market and get a payoff of 10 or not enter the market and get a payoff of 0. 
and of course the firm is going to choose the payoff of entry and hence the firm is going to enter the market and the existing firm is going to price high. So if the existing firm prices high, the new firm enters the market and then the existing firm prices high again, we can see that the payoff for the existing firm from pricing high right at the beginning is going to be 10. Okay. Now consider the left hand side where the existing firm at the beginning actually has the choice to price low. Now in this case we are again starting at the bottom. We have the existing firm after pricing low the new firm entering the market. The existing firm then has, to, has the choice to continue with the low pricing or going with a high price and we see that in this case the existing firm is going to choose the low pricing. In this case, the firm, the new firm, if the new firm enters the market, the payoff for the new firm is going to be minus 5. And the payoff from not entering the market is going to be 0. And hence, we can see that if the existing firm prices low at the beginning, and the new firm, in this case, knows that the existing firm is going to continue with the low price, the new firm is not going to enter the market and the payoff for the existing firm is going to be 20. Now we can see that right at the beginning the existing firm is going to price low in order to, en to deter entry of the new firm. Again, this is an example where the existing firm can deter entry and the Nash equilibrium in this case, the existing firm deters prices low and the new firm is not going to enter. Okay. So here the Nash equilibrium stops after two decisions. <laughs>